Okay, so we're going to create a Google Doc and we're going to um, set it up for MLA formatting. So the first thing we want to do always is to title our document. So I'm just going to title our document MLA formatting and click OA. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is always go to um, up here into the menu bar um, because the default in Google Doc is Arial and 11, but in MLA it has to be Times New Roman and 12. And in MLA you have to have a header with your last name and the page number. So in Google Docs you have to go to Insert and you want to go to page number first and go to top of page and then the cursor will be at behind the number go ahead and click to in front of the number and you can go ahead and enter your last name and make sure you put a space between your last name and the number and then if you just put your cursor below the line there and you'll click right out of the um, header but then we still need to put a heading in the document. Now the document's already going to be set up for one inch margins all the way around, so you don't need to do that. Since you've already set up the font for Times New Roman and 12, it should stay that way, but you should double check to make sure it does that. Um, you want to go ahead and check your line spacing. It's at one 0.15 and it needs to be double space in MLA so we're going to go ahead and click double space and then for MLA it's uh, the student's name the teacher's name whoops class name the date and then it's just double space and then you have to put a title which is centered and to center your title you just go up here to the menu bar and you click center alignment now you have to have a creative title which hopefully will somehow connect to the thesis of your essay go ahead and click enter Go back up to the menu bar and hit the left alignment key and then click tab and you will be ready to begin typing your document. Once you've done that, you're ready to start um, typing in MLA. Now in order to submit this document to um, turnitin.com, Turnitin.com does not accept um, Google Docs. So you will have to go to File and Download as a Word document. And it will go ahead and it will download as a Word document. Then you will have to open it up as a Word document. And there it is and you'll want to uh, save save that Word document I'm just going to go ahead and save it on my desktop so you have that and then we can go over here to turnitin.com and um, uh, sign in uh, and then you want to click on the class and you click on the blue button now your name once you sign in should already be listed go ahead and put the title of your document in there the creative title so MLA format you go here to choose title 
And I'm going to go to desktop, and there it is. Click on that, and then choose. And you'll see it right there, and then you can go ahead and choose to upload. And it takes a couple of minutes, well, not even, just a few seconds. But it's telling me I need, I have to submit more than 20 words of text, so I'm going to cancel. Um, otherwise, you would see the document um, show up, and you would just say, I accept. So I'm going to go back to my drive. Um, and go to MLA formatting. And there it is. So, and that's it.